guys. I thought I would um, take out of last night's segment the small piece I did on these bookends uh, because I thought the conversation with Ms. Kurowski was um, worthy of its own space. So I didn't want to crowd it with too much information. But um, for those of you who are interested in knowing how to turn a lumpy old piece of wood like this into something that is a little bit more presentable, um, I thought I'd explain that to you now. Enjoy. To explain the bookends, I wanted to share with you a couple of uh, things that I've made here in the shop. And this first one is kind of interesting for me. Um, this is simply a piece of wood, an old piece of timber that came from a barn. I buy a lot of antique wood and I love messing around with old, old wood. So this is probably, this wood could be as old as the gentleman that's on it. <clears throat> what I've done is uh, took a board that's been very, was very rough. You can see how rough the edges are on that. And I've sanded down one side and made it silky smooth. And then what I did was I printed out a photograph. I went into a program, <clears throat> an Adobe Suite program, and I created a black and white shot of a photograph and um, printed it with no background, obviously. Bland white paper. And I used a special glue to glue this onto the piece of wood. And after doing so, I took a file and I roughed up the edges to make it look a little bit old. You can see perhaps some of that from here. And um, then I put a glaze over the top, a clear glaze, to seal it all in so that it doesn't yellow and uh, it doesn't peel back or anything like that. So this is, um, some of you might be thinking that this man is drinking something that should not be discussed in a middle school video, but actually he is drinking a pure uh, jug of cider. Um, this is actually a picture of my grandfather who did uh, who was in the cider business years ago, and this was used as an advertisement for that cider. And um, so this is uh, a Frank from many years ago, who was my grandfather. And after, after my grandfather, my father was Frank, and I'm Frank, and my son is Frank. And um, so this is uh, Frank Christian Geiger, who was um, a farmer and a cider maker, amongst other things. And so I honored him by making him um, making that photograph of him and putting him on a bookend uh, that I keep in my small, my shelves that I call my library. Uh, the second bookend that I made is very similar, except instead of a photograph, I used um, just some words that I wrote. Um, when a tractor moves across the earth, it changes what the soil is worth. And I wrote that one day when I was online with some farmers on uh, Twitter and Instagram, I follow a lot of those guys. And these days, farmers are in a lot of trouble and their businesses are not doing so well. And um, it got me to thinking that it's such a shame how much the farmers are losing value in their land when the simple fact of the matter is uh, when you drive a tractor over the earth, it does change what it's worth. And I, I texted that to a few people one day and they thought that was kind of clever and they enjoyed that. So I put that on a block of wood and I thought, um, you know, maybe somebody might enjoy that one day. And so there it is. Lastly, if you really want to go crazy, you can do a larger edition of what I did. And here I have something that I, I just printed out and um, you can see perhaps by looking at this edge, I framed this in a very old wood as well. And this is something that, um, that I wrote as well. Uh, if I had to blame someone or thank, it would be Robert Frost for a walk I took through the wood that got me almost lost. I usually take the easy path that runs along the brook, but thanks to him or some whim I had, I made a path and that was the path I took. This is, um, to me, uh, kind of honoring Robert Frost and the influence that he's had on my life and my reading, or my writing, I should say. And um, as I told you before, he is one of my favorites. And so I thought about him and what he says about uh, taking walks in the woods. And so I wrote this. And I think we can all kind of relate to this a little bit when we go into the woods. 
Uh, we think we have a purpose in mind and we think we know where we're going, but the woods have a way of changing that on us and we may end up in a very different place than when we started. And I think that's true for a lot of us also in life. And I would want the students to know that as well. You may have a target, you may have a destination in mind, you may know exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life. And yet, sometimes life has a different plan, which uh, this year is quite true when we think about the seniors in high school, eighth graders in the middle school, and um, fifth graders in elementary school who probably had different plans this year in the spring and we're doing our best, I know we are as families, to um, keep everybody you know, satisfied, but we also recognize that it's tough because uh, they're not having the experiences that they thought they were going to have. Um, and here we are almost at the end of March, heading into April. We shall see where we are going uh, as time moves along, just as anyone would when you start off on a journey.